The Man in Gray. The ghostly figure of a young man wearing the clothes of 250 years ago has often been seen in the balcony of one of London's oldest theaters, the Theatre Royale. The figure wears a powdered wig and a three-cornered hat. What most people notice first is the long gray cloak. He is called the Man in Gray. The hilt of a sword can be seen sticking out from beneath the cloak. Many fashionable young men dressed that way in London two and a half centuries ago. Many of them carried swords as well. There is nothing really frightening about this ghost. He does not moan or howl. He does not even appear at night. The man in gray is usually seen in the afternoons or early evening. That is the time the rehearsals are going on. He's seen mainly by the actors or members of the stage crew. Occasionally, he has been seen where there is an afternoon performance at the theater. People in the audience think the figure must be an actor in costume. The actors know better. The figure walks across the balcony and seems to disappear into the wall. Once or twice, he's been seen backstage or on the stage itself. Far from being afraid of this phantom, most theater people look upon the man in gray as a sign of good luck. This particular ghost appears only at hit shows. If a show is going to be a flop, the man in gray is nowhere to be seen. People in the theater begin to worry when this ghost doesn't show up. Several actors at the Theater Royale have reported that they were helped by this ghost, or at least by some ghost. A young actress named Doreen Duke was auditioning for a part. Before going on, she was struck with stage fright. She felt paralyzed, unable to remember her lines or even move. Then she felt a friendly pat on the back. That broke the stage fright. When she, returned, when she turned around to see who had helped her, no one was there. She went out, had a good audition, and got the part. She always said she could never have done it without that pat from an unseen hand. Another actress said that during a show, an invisible force moved her around the stage. Because of that, she gave a better performance. Who is the man in gray? Some say he's the ghost of either Arnold Woodruff or Thomas Hallam. They were actors killed in the theater by a fellow actor who went mad. Most actors doubt this. They say the man in gray was a member of the audience, not a performer. A more popular candidate is an unknown young man whose skeleton was found in the theater in 1860. Workmen broke through a wall and found it hidden there. The skeleton had a dagger sticking between its ribs. No one knows the identity of the skeleton. No one knows what happened either. The most common explanation is that the young man was killed in a fight. His body was then bricked up in the hole in the wall of an old theater. A lot of people suspect that whoever he was, his ghost is now called the man in gray. He must have really loved the Theater Royale because he has never left.